What's good, YouTube family? Your boy is back. Listen, man, I had dropped a video earlier this morning, uh, which was a basic recap of the, the um, Chicago Sky... Uh, no, 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 no. Um, Indiana Fever versus the Phoenix Mercury game, as well as the Seattle versus the... Um, uh, the Atlanta Dream game early this morning. For some reason, it didn't make it through the algorithm. YouTube had a problem with the video. They wouldn't allow me to uh, to title the thing. I can only have a date up there, so I just took that down. I said, all right, I don't know what, what went wrong with that or what problem they had with that, but I had to take that down. So I took that down, and, um, you know, here it goes, man. Um, listen, the, Indi the Indiana Fever played well. You know what I mean? Uh, they did some things that they were not doing previously. I felt like there was better ball movement, uh, sharing the ball, a um, little bit better than they've done before. I mean, I, I mean, it's 23 assists. That that's decent. That's above. That's higher than their average. You know what I mean? But and it's high for them. But you know, but it's better. It's progress. You know what I'm saying? So that that was good to see. Um, the defense. I wouldn't say they played overall stellar defense, but. One thing I will give Christy Sides credit for is that Christy Sides had a plan for, for Brittany Griner. You know what I mean? Whereas um, I felt like Teaspoon did not have that. Teaspoon just kind of allowed Camilla Cardosa to play her straight up, which was a mistake. You know, Brittany Griner, for whatever you think of her or whatever you want to say, you know, she is an Olympian. She is an all, probably a, definitely a top 10 player. In the league, I mean, among centers, she's still giving you 19 a night, like, and she's an old head who got, I mean, got moves and skill, you know, she got some up and under stuff, all of that, you know what I mean? Uh, I like what Christy Size did in the beginning of the game. She was like, listen, basically, you. it looks to me like she was, her thinking was, she's not going to allow Kalia Copper and, uh, you know, Brittany Griner to beat her. I'm going to take at least one away. So it looks like doubling um, Brittany Griner early in the game kind of took her away so that way she didn't have Copper and her getting over. If Copper gets off, that's cool. And then Copper also on top of that had a pretty bad shooting night. She was like, a uh, man, under her average. You know, her average is upwards of 45% a night, especially from two. And she didn't really do that. She got 36 points, but it was, it was, a, it was a good 36 for the fever because it was on bad shooting. You know what I mean? I still saw some sloppy stuff that they have to clean up. Uh, the fever, uh, the Mercury were almost able to come take the lead. Uh, but the thing about the fever, they have multiple players who can score. When you talk about Kelsey Mitchell, one of the best scoring guards in the league I'm watching. She got every damn shot in the book. I mean, I don't know what problems people may have. She got mid-range. She got threes. She got step backs. She got uh, stop and goes, moves. She She's just good. You know what I mean? Um and so, so good job by the fever last night. You know what I mean? Listen, I'm not jumping on the train that you see the machine pushing right now because this machine is about promotion, promoting uh, Caitlin Clark and trying to get all this money off of it. I understand from their perspective what they're doing. You know, I woke up today. I'm watching the Today Show. They got Caitlin Clark. Um, I ain't never seen this on the Today Show. The Today Show. You know what I mean? It comes on. Um, after the local news, you know, with Al Roker and all of them people. And, you know, they up there playing Caitlin Clark uh, clips with the song behind it. The girl is on fire. The girl is on fire. Right. I ain't never seen that for a damn WNBA player. So she got that machine up and running. So she's going to get all that stuff. I'm looking. I, I'm taking a deeper dive into her play. Okay. I thought she played well. I thought she played well, but the reason I'm not going to go overboard about it is because of the timing and the circumstance, all right? Teams that are playing, this is a metric since, this is a trend since the inception of the WNBA, and it's pretty much similar to the NBA as well. Teams that are on the road, on a back-to-back, -back, playing on a back-to-back, -back, coupled with coming over after uh, an emotional game. It was an emotional game for the um for the for for uh Kalia Copper for sure. And then also I believe if I'm not mistaken the Phoenix Mercury may have been the team that the Chicago Sky played in the championship if I'm not mistaken. But there was a number of 
trends that were going that were favoring the fever. That if you're a betting man, if you do that, and I, you know, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I look at all these things when I, when I, when I have done those things before. A lot. If you're a betting man, you would bet the fever in that game. They're at home, got a team coming off the road. They were just played the night before. Um, the star literally had an emotional game. You know, so you could almost bet that Kyle Kappa was likely going to struggle in that game. Um, and then I, I got to give Aaliyah Boston a lot of credit. She is one of the best players I've ever seen stick Brittany Griner. You know, Leah Boston is strong. She, she's stout, you know what I mean? And that gives Brittany Griner problems. It really does. Brittany Griner is like ready to fight Aaliyah Boston damn near every game I've seen. She almost ready to knock her head off because she can't stand how relentless she is. And, and y'all Fever fans better credit Leah Boston for that, man. You're not winning games without that. You know what I mean? Um, as far as um, Caitlin Clark, Caitlin Clark had a very sizzling first half with 16 points. She shot 50% from the field. She was about 35% from three. Impressive stuff. She got you 10 turnovers. I mean, she got you 10 assists. Five turnovers. You want to see that assist to turnover ratio be a little better than that. Because uh, a lot of those turnovers I saw on consecutive plays when I watched the game, you know. Um, now, I like the attempt that she's making to try to score less, other than threes and try to get to the rim. There was a couple of times she caught them sleeping in the transition, was able to get to the rim. All right. And there were times where she fought to get to the rim. Now, I saw it, and I, and I hope you can be honest and see it. Um, the times when she was matched up with Khalid Copper and she tried to go into the holes, there was a lot of pushing off going on. There was some damn elbows and some push off hands with the off dribble hand. All right, there was some of that. I don't ignore that stuff, okay? When you talking about putting someone in the elite class of scoring guards, if you want to be an elite scorer, you're going to have to get that out of your. She's going to have to get that out of her game because I'm telling you right now, there's going to be a time you get into the playoffs and they don't let you get that push off. And they don't let you get that push off. Now, the engine might be behind her, but y'all better listen to me. It even come at a, a crucial time where you do that push off. They don't let you do it. And then, you know, you're talking about a whole different game now. You're not getting those free throw calls or whatever, right? Those things happen. Uh, but all in all, good game um, by 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 uh, Caitlin Clark. Good game. Excellent game also by Kelsey Mitchell. Good game, particularly on the defensive end by Leah Boston. Um, that was good. Now, the game that I was like glued into for real was that Seattle and Atlanta Dream game. It's very important. Um, Chicago really needed Seattle to win that game for them because now the Atlanta Dream are kind of creeping up now. They're creeping up. Um, they're creeping up. You know, and Atlanta Dream is a team that has a lot of talent. You know, they got that Jordan Canada back. She's one of my favorite point guards to watch. Her and Skylar Diggins were going at it. Um, Diggins, of course, had the better statistics, but Jordan Kennedy kind of getting back in the flow. She's been kind of out for a while. Uh, Skylar Diggins, to me, right now, is the best point guard in the WNBA. When you talk about both sides of the floor, she has a ridiculous um, defensive rating of a 91, and I saw it in action. The way some plays she was making, there was this one sequence where she came away with she goes – Makes it three, comes back, steals the ball from Alicia Gray, scores in transition on a layup. Like, Scholar at times just changes the game. You know what I mean? She was looking like Gary Payton out there. And then I'm looking at the Seattle with the uh, with the green on. I thought I was looking at Gary Payton, man. You know, um, I was very impressed with Scholar Diggins. Um, Jewel Lloyd. Jewel Lloyd made one of the most spectacular, difficult shots I've seen anybody make. Um, however, it wasn't enough because you got the Atlanta Dream with the Tina Charles, the the you know the um, Hall of Famer for sure, legend who just makes that shot at the end of the game that doesn't allow the game to go into overtime. I'm like, damn. Though I though I like the Atlanta Dream and I like Seattle, I like both of them. You know, I'm kind of locked into the, the you know the sky right now because I'm 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 kind of. I don't have a rooting interest because I'm in Philadelphia. If we had a Philly team, that would be my team, period, because I'm a homer. But since not, I like Chicago. All right, I like uh, the way Angel Reese plays. I like the way uh, Camila Cardoso plays. Uh, and I kind of believe in what they're doing. I remember Teresa Witherspoon back in the day. Um, I like the defensive approach to things. And then also, you know, I, I want to root for a team that is up and coming. 
you know, right now, I, I, I wouldn't feel right if I jump on the Aces bandwagon. That's easy to do. The Connecticut Sun, I really like them. Um, I also love, I also like Seattle, you know what I mean, as far as their play style. But, you know, I say, you know what, I'm going to go on this journey with the sky for now. You know, unless Philadelphia, unless they build, put a team in Philly, I'm with the sky for now. You know what I mean? Um, so that's what's going on with me. But the sky got a game coming up today, man. Uh, they, they really need to bounce back. I don't know what the status of Kennedy Carter is. I think that's very important. Um, you see how, how the offense looks without her. So it's a completely different dynamic. Um, I think they could put together some semblance of a decent offense without her, but it's going to take a couple of games, you know what I mean, to just have someone that's, that's that integral, that much of an important part of your offense, taken out suddenly all of a sudden against a hungry opponent is difficult, a difficult. Um, now, the Sparks are beatable, very much so, but you can't sleep on them. You know, at their A game, they've beaten the Aces. You know, they've given other teams real uh, comp, you know. Um, so you can't sleep on them. They got some talent there. Like I said, Hamby, if Hamby just goes off, you know, that could be a problem, of course. Uh, Rakia Jackson, she may be looking to say, hey, look, I'm the best rookie. Who knows? You know, and I love watching Rakia Jackson play for a couple of reasons, all right? And, um, that's, that's going to be interesting to see. Um, I think Chicago may have played the Sparks one other time. I don't remember the game, though. I, for some reason, I don't remember it. Maybe they hadn't. You know, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, we've got that coming up in a few hours. Um, I'm about to just run in here, man, go handle something real quick. Think about maybe I, I'll probably go, go live for the Chicago game. You know, why not? Um, at least at some point in the game, you know what I mean? If not, I'll be over there chilling with, with uh, Showtime um, for sports and maybe flipping through Sess Talks and, you know, all of the, the various great content creators who will be going live during the game. You know, I'll either be live or I'll be supporting one of them. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that, that, that that's pretty much what I got, man. I'll check y'all out later. Peace out.